you're experiencing no signal or a black screen of death on your Xbox One console. Many Xbox One players may encounter this issue due to a number of reasons. Majority of the time it's only a question of double checking your HDMI cable connection, as well as checking certain video output or display settings so there's no need to panic if you have this trouble on your console. In this video, we'll explain why you're getting no signal and what you can do to solve it. This may seem obvious, but many people become slightly confused when they see the no signal message on their TV screen. After a period of inactivity, your Xbox One controller may have been automatically disconnected from the system. Simply hit the Xbox Guide button on the controller to find out. You may also manually restart the Xbox One by pressing the power button in front. Sometimes the system refreshes all that is required for the TV and Xbox One to sync. So, switch off your television and console and disconnect them from the power supply for 30 seconds. When the timeout expires, turn on the console and the TV to see whether the problem has been resolved. If refreshing the console and the TV doesn't work, the next step in troubleshooting is to make sure you're using the right HDMI connections on both the TV and the Xbox One. The Xbox One features two HDMI connectors. Make sure that you're using the HDMI out port on your Xbox One as using the other one will result to no signal issue. If your TV model has more than two HDMI ports, be sure to also check that you select the right source or input. You can simply rotate all of the HDMI inputs using your remote to determine which HDMI port is being used by your Xbox One. If the Xbox One no signal problem persists, make sure the HDMI cable you're using is in good working order. If you have another HDMI cable, try it to see if it solves the problem. You should also make certain that the HDMI ports are clean and functional. Use an extra HDMI cable instead of the present one if you have one on your TV. If required, use a can of compressed air to clean the HDMI port. If you own the original Xbox One instead of the latter version, it should come with an external power supply, also known as a PSU. This power supply incorporates a LED light indication that might assist you in troubleshooting specific difficulties. If the power supply light is red or orange, try unplugging the power supply cord from the Xbox One console and the power supply for about a minute. This should allow the PSU to refresh the connection, potentially resolving the Xbox One no signal problem. If the PSU's LED light is white, everything is in working order. When you connect your Xbox One console to an older TV or one that doesn't support the resolution on your Xbox, a resolution conflict may occur. To resolve this issue, set your Xbox One to low resolution mode. Here's how you do it. On your Xbox One, press the power button for 10 seconds until you hear a beep. Wait for 30 seconds, then press the power and eject buttons together for 15 seconds or until you hear another beep. Wait for the system to boot up its lowest possible resolution settings. These steps should change the display settings on your console. If your signal problems persist, it's time to switch to a new TV connection. If your Xbox One console works on the second TV, it's probably time to upgrade the existing TV that's giving you trouble. If trying another TV still does not solve your no signal or black screen problem, it might be a hardware failure. We recommend contacting Microsoft and scheduling a repair appointment. That's it. If you think that this video is helpful, we would appreciate it if you can leave a like, subscribe to our channel, or share this video to your friends. This can greatly help in making sure that Google's algorithm can find and recommend this video to others.